I'm Frank Close and my latest book is called Neutrino, which is the story of a particle, the commonest and perhaps weirdest particle in the universe that we know of. But primarily it's a story about people, a triumphant story but also a tragic story. And the central character is Ray Davis, a man who spent 40 years of his life trying to capture neutrinos from the sun. Now the joy of writing a book is you discover things along the way you didn't anticipate. I didn't anticipate that the story would actually be about not just Davis but two other people, John Barcall, his collaborator, and Bruno Pontecorvo, an Italian physicist who left halfway through his life and went to the Soviet Union. And they were the tragedies because Ray Davis' experiment was so difficult people thought he couldn't do it. It took 40 years before he convinced people that he had and he didn't get the Nobel Prize until he was 87 years old in 2002. His collaborator John Barcall for some weird reason wasn't included in the Nobel Prize, one of the great controversies of my field. But Bruno Pontecorvo was the tragic figure because I estimate he could have won four Nobel Prizes himself for his work with neutrinos during that time and would have done but for the fact that he went to the Soviet Union in 1952 behind the Iron Curtains it was in those days. The things he lost out was that he had the idea how to detect the neutrino by using a nuclear reactor but he was refused admittance to the nuclear reactor in Moscow. He then wanted to go to CERN in Geneva to do the experiment and he was refused to leave the Soviet Union to do it. Somebody else won that prize. Later he had the idea of how to detect neutrinos from the Sun which is what Ray Davis did eventually. But Ray Davis' experiment had problems. He wasn't finding enough according to the theory. Who had the solution? Bruno Pontecorvo. He wrote his paper in Russian it wasn't translated into English for 18 months and nobody took any notice of it. They didn't believe it because his explanation of what was happening was that there's more than one type of neutrino, something that we now know to be correct. That's his second great idea. And that one type can turn into another in the 150 million kilometre journey from the sun to here, which also we now know to be correct. That's the third idea. But by the time we knew that that was right, Bruno Pontecorvo had died. So his was a tragic story. John Barcall was a heroic story, but he was overlooked by the Nobel Committee. Davis lived long enough to get his Nobel Prize. And as I say, longevity is the main issue in chasing neutrinos.